In this tutorial, we will show how to use the multi MPPT and power sharing feature. MPPT, short for Maximum PowerPoint Tracking, is a technique applied to various variable power sources, such as PV panels. In an electrical system, power is a product of voltage and current. Regardless of the power source, increasing the current drawn from the power results in a decrease in voltage. Conversely, Reducing the current leads to a higher voltage. Essentially, drawing too much or not enough current from a solar panel would result in a limited power output. This optimal balance between voltage and current is referred to as the maximum power point. The role of a maximum power point tracker is to continuously adjust and track the shifting maximum power point, ensuring that the maximum power is consistently extracted from the source. The multi-MPPT technology enables a solar inverter to independently track the maximum power point for each string or group of panels, meaning that each set of panels can function at its optimal power point, effectively maximizing energy production and reducing energy losses. Thus, in the case of different lengths of strings, or panels oriented differently on your site, in the case of partial shading due to objects nearby, trees or passing clouds, or in the case of soiling, the multi-MPPT allows the system to mitigate the impact by adjusting the operation of the affected strings without affecting the others. For this example, we have started a new project in Geneva with a fixed tilted plane. In this system, we choose a generic inverter with two MPPTs. By default, PVSYST assumes that an inverter with two MPPT inputs behaves as two identical inverters of half the power. That is, each MPPT input will have a nominal power of half the power of the full inverter. Same logic is applied to any number of MPPT inputs. However, during operation, real inverters have the possibility of sharing the total output nominal power between different MPPT inputs. This will be done by using the power sharing feature. Sharing the power generated by each MPPT across various strings or groups of panels prevents strings from overloading while others underperform, thus maintaining the overall balance and efficiency of the system. In the first subarray, we define 17 modules in series in one string. You should ensure that within each subarray, the number of strings is a multiple of the number of MPPT inputs. For example, Avoid having a mix of one strings and two strings on different MPPTs. This is because the power sharing of the PVCist model acts between subarrays, but not within a subarray. By copying the first subarray, we can simply change the numbers of modules and strings to two strings with 15 modules. In this example, the second MPPT is slightly undersized and we risk overload losses, whereas in the first subarray, for the first MPPT input, the inverter is slightly oversized. If the inverter has the capability to shift part of the nominal power between the MPPT inputs, this can be configured in the power sharing window. The power sharing feature ensures that power generated by each MPPT controller is efficiently distributed across the different strings or groups of panels by assigning each subarray to a power sharing group. On the right of this window, you will see a list of your subarrays. You can collapse and expand each inverter. On the left, you have the inverter configuration. By dragging a subarray from the list to the window, we can associate subarrays for the same inverter. A summary of the characteristics of the subarray will appear, including the number of MPPTs, the nominal power at the specific MPPT, the percentage of the total nominal power over the inverter, the installed PV power in the subarray, as well as the nominal power ratio in the subarray. Subarrays contained in the same configuration will be able to share their power. If the number of MPPTs in a configuration is not a multiple of the number of inverter MPPT inputs, an error message will appear. By dragging two subarrays to one configuration, we have defined a full inverter. The power sharing will be balanced automatically if auto equal PNOM is checked. You will have the option to manually balance and or adjust the power allocated to each subarray if you uncheck this option. By clicking on the weight icon, the pinum ratio is balanced and by clicking the rubber, 
it resets the pinome ratio. We will use a balanced pinome ratio by activating the auto equal pinome option to avoid overload losses in the second subarray. In the single line diagram, you can review and check the configuration. The power sharing is well defined and the LED light is active. The second inverter in this example has 8 MPPT inputs and the system has 10 strings where 5 strings have 20 modules and 5 strings 22. Remember that the number of strings should be a multiple of the number of MPPT inputs since the power sharing of the PVCs model acts between the subarrays and not within the subarray. If we assign 4 MPPTs to 5 strings, we will receive an orange message highlighting this problem. In this case, we have to further precise the configuration by dividing 5 strings in 2 subarrays of 3 and 2. Assigning 3 MPPTs to the first subarray with 3 strings and 1 MPPT to the second subarray for the remaining 2 strings. We follow the same process for the strings with 22 panels. In the power sharing window, we now see the second inverter and we drag the new subarrays into this configuration as we did in the previous example. If we have multiple inverters with the same configuration, the number of strings and MPPTs can be multiplied with the number of inverters and be assigned to the same configuration in the power sharing window. By opening the power sharing, we can balance the pinom ratio just like in the previous example. If the same inverter is used with another configuration, for example 6 strings over 6 MPPTs and 4 strings over 2 MPPTs, these should be separated in a second configuration. Mark the inverter and click on the plus icon. You can remove a configuration by using the trash can icon and change the order in the list by using the arrows. In the global system summary, we can see that 4 complete inverters has been defined in total.